everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to paint a lemon. We did this in Digital Design 1, but you may have forgotten some things and I may add some new things. So we will practice together. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on my lemon and I'm going to take my magnetic lasso tool and I'm going to ignore the leaves and I'm going to go through and trace the edge of my lemon. Now you guys will want to go slowly and make sure you hit all your edges. I'm just doing a quick little tutorial here so I'm not as worried about what this looks like. Now when I get up to my leaf, I'm just going to follow along the edge and then remember to click back to where you started to get the dancing ants. Now on the bottom of my layers panel, I'm going to hit the plus sign. I'm going to go grab my eyedropper. I'm going to try to pick up the general lemon color. So I'm going to click right here. Then I'm going to go get my paint bucket and I'm going to paint that in. So you can see here I've got a solid lemon. Now I'm going to hide that, add another new layer, grab my eyedropper again. Now I'm going to start to pick up some of these highlight colors, some of these brighter colors. I'm going to go to my paintbrush, get a nice size brush, and I'm going to go in, oops, make sure my opacity is 100%. I'm going to go in and paint some of these dramatic values. So like there's some orange over here. I've got some darker lemon color over here. And I'm just bouncing back and forth between the eyedropper and my paintbrush. And my paintbrush is 100% opacity. I want to make sure I can see everything I'm doing. Now notice here, I'm going to try to pick up that little highlight. So I'm going to have to shrink my brush size, run that down there. Does that look realistic? No, but I will come back to it. So I'm just kind of busting out some colors here. I'm going to add this shadow color in here real fast. And then I'm going to call it done. So now if I unhide this, okay, looking a little funky, but I have faith in me. So the dancing ants are still here. The yellow is living underneath all the little painted values. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. You'll probably see this raindrop looking shape. And if you click and hold the smudge tool, the fingers underneath that. I want it to be big, but not quite that big. My strength is only at 24%. I'm going to come through and start to smudge those values in so that it doesn't look so painted and fake. I'm going to blend a little bit more. And again, this is just the layer where I went and grabbed the highlights and the shadows. I'm just kind of throw them out there, try to make them a little bit more realistic. Now, if you do something like this where I'm like, oh, that's too bright, pick up the regular lemon color, go get your paintbrush, drop that opacity down, and soften it up. See how that softened it up? Now I can go back to my smudge tool and I can start to smudge that in again. So my dancing ants are still here to make sure that I don't smudge and get some wonky shape in my lemon. But now I'm ready to merge these two together. So I'm going to hold down shift, highlight both of my layers and go control E like elephant. And now I have one layer. Now I can move it over and I can see what it actually needs to look like. Now I can go in and dodge and burn and get some of these shadows and highlights. So remember, the burn tool looks like the fist, the dodge tool looks like a lollipop. So I'm gonna start with a dodge tool and you can change your brush size, you can change your exposure. Remember you have to think about what range you are. So I'm gonna aim for highlights and see what happens. Nothing good. So now I'm gonna try midtones. Nothing. Shadows. So I'm having trouble finding a range that works with how light my yellow is. So sometimes when a color is too bright or too dark, you can't get it to change the way you want to. So that's where you've got to go in, pick up the right color, and just paint it on with your paintbrush. Sometimes you cannot get the dodge and burn to do what you want it to do, which is okay. But now I can come back here and that's really big. 
Now I can come back down here and add some more value if I want to. Highlight around here. And again, you're going to have to play with range. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. You're going to have to play with ranges and see what does the right value for you. And again, if it's not giving you the right value, go pick up more of that color. That's why I'm giving you a lot of space. In this image, I gave you a lot of white space just so that you can move these side by side and see what they look like. So you know what it should look like if everything is going right and the stars are aligning. Now, to make this even more realistic, I want to put this texture on here. So to do that, I'm going to go to filter on the top, noise, add noise. Now it's not going to be as big a dots as what you see on the actual lemon, because if you go too big, see how it gets really scary looking? But it's also got color in it. I don't want the color. So I'm going to go monochromatic and uniform. And now I'm starting to get that texture. So again, it's not like the dots on the photo, but it's better than being solid. So I'm going to say, okay, that was filter noise again. And now I have a pretty decent lemon. I'm going to control D, get rid of my dancing ants. If you see like areas where it's wonky looking, you can come in with a hard paintbrush. I'm sorry, not a hard paintbrush, a hard eraser. And you can just try to clip those areas off and smooth them down. Now, that's the lemon. We got the lemon done. Now I'm going to trace this leaf right here. And just for time's sake, that's all I'm going to do is this one big leaf. So same thing as before. I'm going to click on my lemon photo, take my magnetic lasso. I'm going to trace my leaf. And everything's going to work pretty similar. I'm just going to use a different effect to get this like line effect that you see here. So I'm going to pause this real fast. Okay, so I paused what was happening super fast because I only have so much time on this video recorder. So what I did is I went ahead and painted my green layer and then I painted my highlight layer just like we did with our lemon. So now I am going to, let me move this out of the way. I'm going to shift, take my move tool move this over so you can see side by side. So what I'm doing, because there are these lines here, I'm going to take my smudge tool and I'm going to smudge the direction I see those lines. That's going to make things more realistic. So I'm kind of trying to put that texture in there. Then I can come in again with dodge and burn and I can try to change the values. You have to think about what your range is, what your exposure is. Oh, I should have merged my layers first. Gosh, I can't believe you guys let me do that. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to shift, highlight both of those, control E. Okay, now my burn tool. Oh yeah, see, it wasn't working because I was only on one layer. Rookie mistake. So now I can go in, add a little bit more value in places. I can come in and Add some highlights with my dodge tool. Now, there's this nice line here. I'm not worried about that yet, and I'm going to show you why. So, I've kind of got the values there. What I'm going to do is go filter, noise, add noise. And you're like, but wait, Mrs. Woodcock, there's no dots on that thing. There's not. But I'm putting there for a reason. So, I've got these monochromatic dots going on. I'm going to say OK. Now I'm going to go filter, blur, motion blur. See how it's got these lines going up and down? If I move this angle over, now I'm going the direction of the lines like on my reference photo leaf. So you just kind of move them where you want them and you can change how dramatic it is. So I think that's pretty good. I'm going to say OK. So now I've got these lines here. Now I can come in and I can make this line that I see on the other leaf. So I'm going to take my dodge tool and make it kind of small. 
I'm going to see if I can just dodge that line in there. Oh, yeah. Now, that is freehanded, so it's not real great. But like I said, I'm moving fast, talking fast. You guys can do much better when you're just smoothly doing it on your own at home. I can come in and add some more highlights over here if I want to. Add some here. So you've got all kinds of things you can do. And again, you can hop back over to your smudge tool, do a little bit of smudging. But that's the basics of how it works. So let me move this guy over. Control D to deselect. I'm going to move these guys over here. So not too bad. So you can take what we just did and slowly build up this other leaf and do the stem. I would do everything in pieces. Once you get to a point where you have most of the imagery on there, you can shift control E to merge all those pieces. And then you can go back in and really make some things pop. Like I can go in and start to make this highlight appear. I can go in and burn underneath it. Like there's just a lot you can, oh my gosh, horrible color. There's a lot you can slowly add to get your colors right. Or like I've, I've said before, maybe you have to paint in a different color. So lots of things you can do. I have faith in you to figure it out. But if you have questions, send me a message on Schoology. All right, good luck.